Hello Zebra Herd, welcome to Zebra's Arcade, a series where I try a new game every episode. Today, we're trying Floppy Nights, a game that once again is part of the Steam Summer Games Festival, whatever it's called. It is a demo of the game. It looked like a pretty cool, tactical, very colorful game. So I'm excited to try this one out. So let's check out Floppy Nights. Okay, so it looks like we're just gonna get started with the basics here. Um, There we go. And I think it's supposed to be a mixture between a card game and a strategy game. All right, let's go over the basics, Carlton. This is Phoebe and Carlton. Loading training simulation. You don't need to say loading training simulation for it to also, for it to work, you know? Yes, but it's important to have fun while you work. <laughs> Fair point. Okay, so I'm going to have us fight against the succulent kicker for practice. Oh, because it's a plant. Uh, the little angry leafy guy over there? We're going to fight him with another floppy knight I made. Her name is Captain Thistle. She's a special commander unit. We'll always start battles with our commander. We can't let her be defeated or we lose. Don't let our commander bite it. Got it. Let's get started and place Captain Thistle on the map. We can place units anywhere in the blue deployment zone. <laughs> I love him, he's so cute. Alrighty then, so to win this battle, defeat all the enemy units. Let's start by placing the commander on the map. Okay, so here's our commander. Captain Thistle, attack aura one. Attack aura boosts the strength of adjacent, adjacent enemy units. So we're just gonna go and place this right here, place the unit inside the highlighted deployment zone. And we have three energy left over. Sweet, okay, now that we have our commander on the map, let's do something with him. During battle, we'll draw cards every turn that we can play by spending energy. But we have limited energy every turn, right? Right, let's play our cards to move close to en enough to that succulent kicker to attack. Roger. So, um, yeah, well now we have some movement cards. So, yeah, move two, action, move unit up to two tiles. We can do that four different times, and there's also recover two health, uh, destroy. So I guess this card is removed from the deck once it's used. Uh, we don't need to do that for right now, so we're just gonna select this card, and then, okay, so I guess I'll just do that for right now, right? Uh, move the unit to a tile. Well, I guess I should've maybe moved it more than one. Luckily, we have more than enough energy just to do that. All right, we're in the range to attack now. Watch out, succulent kicker. There's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Pain. Each unit gets one attack per turn. If you see this little sword icon on your unit, you know they're ready to attack. Click on the unit to activate their attack, then select a target. So, got that. Attack an enemy, sure thing. Gonna go ahead and give a swing, and boom, two HP. So there we go, we got it. Win. So our reward is a succulent kicker card. Um, it's a unit, add kick and move to your hand. Um, move or attack, move unit one tile or attack an enemy, defeat all the enemies and win in five turns at last uh, or less. There we go. We did it. Phoebe, that was so cool. We are so powerful. Everything worked perfectly. I think we're ready to try this out on a real job. Yeah, let's grab a gig and make some cash. I like the way you think, Carlton, the money eyes. Alrighty, so Phoebe and Carlton are off for a real job now in level number two, uh, or I guess one one, bandits. Main objective, defeat all the enemies. The secondary objective is don't lose any units. So let's try that out a little bit. And here we are. We're finally here. The job board said to meet at this farm. I wonder who our client is. Ooh, when you say it like that, it sounds so official. Client, job. Look at us, Phoebe. We're gonna be rich in no time. I like how the entire arm is like a robot. That's pretty cool. Hi now, this is making money. This making money thing is gonna be a piece of cake. Look, someone's coming. Uh, can I help you? Uh, hey, are you the one who posted the job? Yep, you must be Phoebe. I thought you said there'd be two of you. There are two of us. This is Carlton, he's my artificially intelligent arm. Hello. Yeah, that's great. Er, uh, right. What seems to be the problem? It says here on the job posting that you are, uh, terrorized by vegetarian goblins? Listen, kid, I try to keep a tight farm, but those forest goblins are snatching up all my hard work. I can't turn my back for a second without them stealing my crops. So what do you want us to do? We can grow you some more carrots. That sounds like a lot of work. Just keep watch and keep them away from my crops. Ah, yes, I love keeping watch. Okay, lady, but I'm gonna need at least some kind of down payment up front. Here. Uh, seeds? I meant cash. What am I supposed to do with these? You could make a lot of money planting these. Now go take care of my goblin problem. Ugh, fine. But you better, you better leave a good tip when we're done here. Carlton, we'll post up over there by the, found him. <laughs> what? The goblins, they're right over there. Gosh, I'm so good at keeping watch. 
<laughs> Check it out, fellas. I don't know what magic this lady's using and to, to make food come out of the ground, but I'm just loving it. Let's fill the bags up. Those little punks, what are they waiting for? Go get them. All right, battle start. So, um, to win this battle, defeat all the enemy units. Let's start by placing the commander on the map. So, here we go. Captain Thistle again. I like Captain Thistle, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and put this guy in the deployment zone, just like that. And I guess we're just good to make some moves here. Ooh, yeah, so here's our succulent kicker. I guess maybe it might be good to multitask. Place a unit inside the deployment zone. So if we could have one unit move over here and then this guy move this way, that might be a great way to divvy it up. Remember, this succulent kicker, he's our friend now. When you play a unit, they can generate more cards. And those cards go into your hand right away. They'll stay in our deck for the remainder of the battle too, so we can use them whenever we draw them. I see, the succulent kicker gave us a move and a kick card right away. Exactly, now let's see what we can do with this little guy. So we have a free move one tile, so I might as well do that. And then this is recover two health, we don't need that too much. So we have three energy. I think that, oh, you know what, I probably should have used the move one here. So note taken, I'll move diagonally for now. And then I guess just move one more time, because I don't know if we can attack diagonally. Hmm. Probably should have checked that out. Attack an enemy, let's try this one. Um, wait, why? Oh, I gotta select you, and then do that. And now, if I were to select you, attack an enemy, it doesn't work, yeah, so no no attacking diagonally. Probably could have done that better then. No taken, um, we'll work with it. Oh my, so they're gonna hit back, that's not good. Uh, but this is where we just have to keep up with everything, might be a bit of a challenge. Player turn. Uh. So, upgrade a unit or a card. Grow unit or card. Upgrade either a unit or card in hand. Which would you like to upgrade? Unit. I would like to upgrade the kicker. Sure. There we go. Did you see that? The grow card lets you upgrade a unit on the map or a card in your hand. This special card is unique to the plant deck. Each unit and card can be upgraded. Try it on everything. That's cool. So, we should be able to attack you and knock you out no problem. Um, now, I can move our good buddy here, down a couple of spaces, and make him attack like that. I can't quite see how many, how much health this unit has, okay. So I could spend a little bit more energy just taking them out, just so that we can be a bit more productive next time. There we go. So we don't have enough energy to do too much here, so enemy turn time. Not too bad. So, player turn. What do I wanna do? There's a lot we can do, so first off, this would add a kick and a move to your hand. Are those free? I think they would be. So I think I could, you know, play this real quickly. And then place the unit. Oh, well, this is gonna add another kicker. Yeah, okay, I forgot. There we go, so we'll have more than one running around now. So I could select you and have you move over like this and then have you attack just like that. And that does one damage, but it also pu pushes you away a little bit, so that's good. Move up the four tiles, that's crazy, but I don't quite need it. Well, maybe I should have, actually, hindsight. <laughs> um, but I could also do this and then just have you attack. Not bad, so that's gonna probably attack back if I had to guess, so uh, that should be fine though. Enemy turn, what are they gonna do? Of course, they're gonna hit our main guy. If he gets knocked out as it came over, it might be, probably, player turn. So. First thing we're gonna do is upgrade a unit or card. If I could upgrade my guy right here, attack aura one, attack aura, boost strength of adjacent friendly units, and then payback, uh, counter attack the enemy after taking damage. So we, we might as well try that, I guess. We get the chance, or no, I think that um, automatically gets put on them then, I guess, weird. So I guess for right now, there's a lot of guessing going on. I'm trying to figure out what the best thing to do would be. I think it would be to attack you. Then we are going to have them move one tile. Oh, can then not move diagonally this time, why? I guess because that would technically count as two. And then one more time, over this way. And we're just gonna have you attack just like that. Boom, and then you as well. Have you attacked yet? I don't think you have. There we go, we win! Awesome, we didn't even have to use that other plant. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't too bad, lots of fun. And as you can see, don't lose any units, defeat all enemies. We get Barrel Cactus, unit, 
area attack and restore and thorn or add restore and thorns to your hand. Entangled action unit gains slow attacks. Looks pretty good to me. Whoa! Leave us alone, you stinky losers. Who are you calling a loser? <laughs> hey, you little twerps! Cut it out. Those are mine. Uh oh, the angry lady's here. Hurry up! Grab as much as you can and scram. Don't just stand there. Chase after him. Hey, pretty sure that's out of our scope of work. Yeah, time to pay up, farmer lady. As if you didn't scare them at all. They're going to be back as soon as you leave. Man, I thought I was gonna. This was gonna be easy. I'm paying you to get to the root of this problem. Is that a veggie joke? Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Go! Geez, okay, we're going. So it looks like our job isn't quite done. Moving on over to level one, two, squad attack. The main objective is defeating all enemies and the secondary is winning in five turns or less. I'll try it. I don't know if I'm that efficient so far, but I'm getting a little better. Oof. Man, they've got little legs, but they can run fast. Phoebe, look, they're using a comms machine. Do you think there are other goblins they're working with? Are you saying there's more of them somewhere? Let's get some answers from these twerps. I want to deal with this and get paid as quickly as possible. All right, battle start. So, uh, there are a couple ways to win this battle. To win this battle, defeat all of the enemies and reach the target goal and hold for two turns. Let's start by placing the commander on the map. Okay, so, got our commander right here. And I guess we should go over there and figure that out then. Um, hold for two turns with any unit. And who is this? Can't really see their name, but they're different now. They have a lot more health. Uh, unit gains slow attacks. Slow attack. Attacked enemy movement, or yeah, attacked enemy movement is slowed. That might be good. For right now, I guess we should do that and move you way out this way. And then I guess, yeah, we could do this as well. And just move it very simply, just right over like that. That's the most we can do for right now then. There's a, there's a gooey goblin over this way too. Oh my. Oh, they have ranged moves. That's not good. Uh-oh, I'm a bit worried about this. So, what can I do? Definitely try to figure that out. Um, if I could move you like this, that'd be perfect. Because now, I can just attack you. Boom, two HP. How do I want to do this? Attack an enemy, knock back. There we go. That was actually really good. So now I can spawn in another one, just like that. And as long as this does two damage, I sure hope it does, this might actually turn out pretty well. Attack with you. See ya! Awesome, that was great. So I got rid of that person all six of their HP in one turn. As productive as I can ask for, I suppose. So, player turn. I think the best thing I can do for right now is wait for the cards to draw. Um, recover two health would be perfect for right now, so we're back up the full, and I can just move you right on top of that. Um, so, I guess this one would probably be better. Um, wait, no, back, here we go, and just move right on top of this thing. So if we hold you there for two turns, I think that's that just works. In the meantime, I could get a barrel cactus, area attack, add restore, and thorns to your hand. Let's try this then. And then, what? what's happening? I give you Barrel Cactus. I made him to be real tough. When he attacks, he hits every adjacent tile at once. He also generates Restore and thorns, Thorn cards when we play him. Pretty cool, huh? Let's see how tough this round boy is. Okay, so he has three HP. So what we probably wanna do here for right now, I mean, I guess really the best thing we could do is choose this person, hold on. Oh, I don't have enough energy for that. So yeah, there really is not much I can do. Yep, okay, so end turn. They're gonna move over and probably attack us a little bit. So be it, it happens. Poor guys. <laughs> oh my. Okay, so while that's happening, our character's still staying up there, and I think that's what they wanted to do. Hold it for two turns, right? So if we hold it for one more, hopefully that works. I don't know, I'm a little confused by that part, but upgrade a unit or card. Let me go ahead and upgrade the cactus guy for right now. I didn't really see what that was gonna do. Um, action area attack. Still can't quite hit you. But I can, at the least, let's get you to attack for right now. Same thing for you. And I guess the best thing I can do after that is have you just move like that. 
If you attack like this, that'll do two HP, very nice. And you can attack again after you've attacked once, I think that's it. Unless I do one of these cards, which, not exactly what I wanna do. So I think that if I wanna be careful, since this is a free heal, might as well do that. And then I can just have you attack again. Nice, okay, that, that works pretty well for me. And let's see, will that take that on the top left or am I just wasting my time over there? I really don't know. <laughs> um, play this card to destroy it, oh my. Um, succulent kicker as well, no, I need that. Uh, weird. Wait, no, we won, awesome. Okay, so I was right, after you just had that person wait there. Um, reward, Sp Spitunia, <laughs> two energy unit, range attack, adds poison coating to your hand, and mulch, one energy, destroy any card in hand. Oh, interesting. Defeat all the enemies to reach target goal and win in five turns or less, we did it! Okay, that actually turned out really well. I repeat, the losers are here. We are retreating to the river. What do you think you're doing? I'm looking at them right now. They look stinky and mean. Be advised to take caution sh should you see them. Goblins, fall back! We are not stinky or mean. We are nice and cute. <laughs> Ooh, now they made it personal. Come on, Carlton. We're gonna finish this job no matter what. Let's stop these veggie thieves and get our money. And a sincere apology. Let's get after him. Way ahead of you. All right then, so another level successfully completed, and now, moving on to one four or one three, um, the mountains. Main objective is to defeat all the enemies or reach the target goal, and the secondary is to capture the target objective instead of defeating all enemies. Okay, so let's do what we just did. Again. Sounds like fun to me. That looks like their stash. That's a lot of veggies. I bet that lady will pay us a little finder's fee if we bring her back a bunch of her lost crops. Now you're talking. All right then, battle start. There are a couple ways to win this battle. To win this battle, defeat all the enemies or reach the target goal and hold for two turns. The so same thing as last time. I guess the target goal is the veggies. Let's start by placing the commander on the map. So, we got our commander right here. And this one's gonna be a bit more risky because there's a lot more enemies that can beat me up if I'm not careful. So I think that maybe this would be good to take right away. There we go, so now you have attacks that'll slow the enemies. And we can also, uh, maybe I should hold on though? Well, I don't know. Cause that's, all right. Um. Now I'm trying to figure this out. What is the best move to make right now? I only have so much energy, energy, so maybe it'd just be better just, I'm gonna move the long way around if I can, and then also spawn in a little friend. It can at least add to some distractions, and as you can see, it does add more movement to be available. Wait, can I not move down this way? Hold on, I guess I can't. Can you not move to the darker zones? Note taken. Never mind. we're going back up here. That's weird. Okay, and I can't pass those, of course. But if I was in the forest, it would give me plus one defense. All right, no taken. That is definitely weird, but it's the enemy turn. And they're all moving forward, player turn. Okay, so what do I wanna do about this one? I think this right here. Oh, this is still a tough one. But if I could just do this, and I know that they're gonna move and attack me, so if I could just maybe just continually move to a spot that would be harder for them to do that, that might work out better, it might not. We're gonna find out. I'm a little nervous with this one. Cause some of them are moving over that way, and I, I was figuring you would at the least attack. So, player turn. How do we wanna do this? Oh, we got some Petunia. Range attack, add poison coating to your hand. Destroy any card on hand, upgrade a unit card. I definitely wanna upgrade this guy, given this situation. The problem now is I don't have too much energy, but I should have enough to hit you like that, then go into your normal attack, hit you again, and also spawn in a Spatoonia. Oh, they have little legs. Unit gains poison attacks. Ooh. This little cutie's name is Spatoonia. They have a special range attack. They can't attack units right next to them, but they can hit units from a space away. Make sure to keep them safe and use them to hit enemies from afar. I will protect this flower with my life. <laughs> I love his face. So, I can't quite attack you from here, unfortunately, and there's not really any other moves I can do. So, we're gonna leave that be. 
We'll see who else moves in here. So you're gonna attack. No, that did two damage. Not good, and that gave us some waste, but also trashed one of our succulent kickers. Not good. So first off, can your attacks hit from here? I would hope so. It looks like they can. Okay, that did minus one HP. Maybe I should have added poison on top of that. All right, I'm um, sure. We'll do that. We'll spawn in the barrel cactus and have him attack right away. Just like that. Boom. Pretty good. I mean, it did one HP. Usually does two, but I guess we don't have him upgraded, and that's why. Let's also do this. That way we can move farther just a little bit. I don't think this person, oh, they might actually. Might not have been my best move. So this one's a lot more difficult than last round. Oh, but we hit back! Would you look at that? Oh, while wow, he's moving around and attacking? Not good. Okay, so how do I wanna do things for right now? Um, Lots of options. I definitely wanna attack where we can. And if I could maybe, maybe even spawn in another one, cause that will give me some extra movement. And just trying to find out like, what's the best option then? I'm thinking moving you over two tiles. Why can't you move two tiles here? Move the unit up to two tiles. Is it the water? One slow, wow, that stinks. So I would have to use, but I still can't move here. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Um, then let's just do one tile like this. And then, should I really be risking this much? I guess we're gonna find out. Um, I'm actually in a bit of a predicament, sort of, kind of. That'll do two damage. Then we can do this move. Oh, but do I wanna do that? I don't know. If she does two damage, I'm done for. And that would be really bad. We're gonna try it though. I think I'm just gonna go in with it. I wish I had one more energy on me though, that'd be great. Cause that does two HP. And if I had one more, I could get rid of her. Darn. And everybody else should be able to attack if it wasn't for the fact that they can't reach. At least I can hit you, right? No, I've already done that. And you can't attack diagonally, darn. Okay, so we're gonna lose at least one unit down here. I really hope we don't lose this. I don't know how much damage they do. Okay, well we got more waste. Oh, bad situation for sure. Come on, oh, oh no, there goes our card. That really stinks. So I think we might just do this to normal way by defeating all the units. If we don't sit on the thing for two times, I don't really care that much. It's just the demo anyways. Oh, but that does make us lose. All right, well, that stinks. I'll try again. Okay, so I'm still in a bit of a situation here, um, but I'm defensive here. I just upgraded the Spatunia, and I would like to just get another one of these guys out. Gets me down to three energy, but I think we can make this work. I know a lot of these guys are just standing around for right now, but I think this will work in just a moment. I just need to get you down this way, attack you once right now, that'll do two damage, then hit you with the knockback, and get you down again. Awesome, that's all I was really looking for there. Um, unit gain slow attacks. I think that would be great for a ranged unit, so if hopefully we can start getting them moving around. I'm just trying to get it done normally where we destroy all the opponents. If we don't get it done the other way, it's fine. Um, oh, we hit you back though, that's nice to see. Okay. So what do I wanna do here? I mean, I could maybe make it work if I just attacked you and then I just made you move over like that and then onto the water. And then technically if I just had you wait here, right? Wouldn't that work? I just need to make sure that these guys don't get taken out. Oh, let's just wait and see. I don't know if the river will push me downstream at some point. Cause like he'll attack and that stinks, but that doesn't really matter to me too much. Okay. And player turn. And once again, I could just end this right here, I think. But I might as well go for it, right? So let's go ahead and attack you like that. And then I could, well actually, no I don't. Remember, I don't wanna get rid of him. So let's just leave it like that. Enemy turn now. I don't know if he's poisoned or not. He's a really tough one to deal with specifically. Come on, come on. And that should be the win right there, right? It was only two turns. Yep, win. So we get Bam Boomer, long ranged unit attack, and it has a slow. Regrow is a special, return a unit to your hand. 
Very cool. Glad to get all that stuff. Let's keep moving. Not some cornered. Spill the beans, where are your headquarters? We'll let you go if you tell us, vermin. Our base is just a little further down the path. Let me go, geez. Fine, scram. Okay, Phoebe, let's go finish this. We'll show them who's stinky and mean. By being mean to them, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, one for the fun zone. Main objective, defeat all the enemies or reach the target goal and second areas win in, with at least five units in play. Uh, I could maybe do that, we'll see. <laughs> if I don't, I don't, that's fine. Hey losers, I'm impressed you made it this far, but this is our turf. What is this place? This here is the fun zone, and losers like you will just stink it up. I suggest moving along before we have the to get rough with you. You're not gonna stop us from taking the, that magical ground food. We were sent here to stop you, even if it means we have to take over your stupid fun zone. Yeah, we're gonna stink it all up. All right, we'll do this the hard way. Didn't, don't say I didn't warn you. All right, battle start. So, uh, there are a couple ways to win this battle. To win this battle, defeat all the enemies or reach the target goal and hold for two turns. Let's start by placing the commander on the map. So once again, there's our commander. It'll be cool if we can get more than one commander eventually, but that works for now. And we're trying to get more of these guys out when we win, so we'll see how that works. For right now, I can maybe just move this guy out a bit. Oh, really far. Sure. Maybe over this way? Because it doesn't matter how I win this one. So I could just do it this way. And that means I have enough to attack, and then once again, attack. I really like the combo with this card. The kick move's really good. So there we go. Now I can end my turn without being too worried here. Oh wow, there's a lot more units than I thought. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no taken. And that hurt. They actually moved over and got me from there. Not good. So what do we got here? We got Bam Boomer, who has a long range attack with slow. Return a unit to your hand. Don't want that, I don't think. At least not right now. So first off, I will attack you. I wish there was a little bit better I could do here, but. Hmm. How far can they move in one turn? It doesn't really say. It might be smarter for right now, uh, but I really wanna get that Bam Boomer. Maybe we will, and maybe I'll just have my other character move around a little bit. So we'll try that out, and then have you move down here. I think that that person, they might be able to reach, I really don't know. Yeah, I think they would. Darn, okay. Yeah, it's hard to sort of flee from people, it seems. Okay, but they moved over there instead. Oh boy, that's a little scary. Player turn, what do we wanna do? Lots of options, I wanna immediately use this heal against you. There we go. Get another one of these out. Okay, lots of stuff we can accomplish here. First off, oh, you can't reach this. That's so weird. Let's do that for now. Uh, we will attack you like that. And I guess we'll get the barrel cactus out. And then if I can, I really can't though. Uh, unit gains plus one strength and payback destroy. Can't do that just yet. I could move a character up the two tiles. I mean, I guess I could do this. It would help me get rid of this target for next turn. This one's gonna take us a while. But hey, we have five units out, so if we could just win with this, that'd be great. So that guy gets attacked a little bit. But this is where we can make things happen, I think. Um, First, upgrade a unit or card. We wanna upgrade this guy. It's always the best option, I think. And then, if we could move you about to there and have you attack, that'd be good. Same thing with this guy. Let's get him out of here. And it won't be super far, but I can at least move you a little bit so that when these guys get closer, we'll have more chances to attack. And I might as well heal this guy. It's only by a little bit, but it's something. Okay, end the turn, enemy turn. So they're moving closer now, but this is where we can start handling them. Haha, <laughs> now we control the redeployment zone. Great work, goblins. Phoebe, if we can put a unit on that switch, then we can take over the redeployment zone for ourselves. Let's go kick him off. Player turn, so does that mean that they're gonna get more players in here? Because that would be really not good. Got a lot of cards just totally reshuffling now. Upgrade a unit, I definitely wanna upgrade this ranged guy. 
And like right now he can't, but if we moved him one, two up, then he'd actually be able to reach. So back it up for this guy, move him there and have him attack. He can reach this guy, no problem. One HP though, it's not as much as I was hoping, but we can do it again, no problem. Now that's all I have. Oh, now he's in the water too, so that's gonna be helpful overall. Don't have enough energy to do anything else. So just gonna leave that be for right now. Okay. So what can I do with all this then? First, I might as well move you a little bit, I guess. And can you still, nah, darn, maybe I should've moved him instead. Okay. I really don't need this mulch card very often. Yeah, tough situation, but what I could do here is I could get you and move you once. Then, get it and move again, and then just have you attack and take this guy out. What? Oh, I always forget. This guy is not the same as the other goblin, so he's still, darn. He just, he just has extra armor, so he's just gonna take one damage there. That really stinks. So normally this guy would do two damage then. Okay, but we were able to hit back there. I do need the regrowth if we have any left. We do, good. Go ahead and do that. This is definitely where things get a tad bit scary though. So if we can move um, you like this, and then also unit gain slow attacks, that would be great for slowing these guys down like that. So let's do this and then have you attack like that. Very nice. Uh, the only problem is it's gonna take a while to figure all that out, but I think we're in a much better situation to do it now, so that's good. So you can only move one turn now, or one space. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so I don't think you can reach this guy from your current space, so if we have you move back now, this is exactly what we want. Attack you like that. Oh, but that makes him move back again. <laughs> Didn't think about that too much. This wouldn't really move you where I need you to be. But I could consider it. Um, well, actually, it still might be better to do this, get that, and attack again. All right, so be it. This guy's sort of our main attacker right now. And that's all they're gonna do. Nobody else wants to move at the moment. Weird, you'd think they'd wanna come in. Oh, so you see, this is what we have to hold for two turns, not this. Isn't that weird? So, oh gosh, hold on. So I guess if we capture this, we can start deploying people here, and that's where the mulch would be helpful, or was it the other thing? No, it was the regrowth. So, right now I want to, so I could use these, both. Oh, actually, can I attack from here? Nope, I wish you could attack diagonally. But we can use these. We still, we can't attack this guy or this guy. It's a weird situation with this thing. But now we can attack this guy, take him out no problem. Then, I have enough here that I can move like this. I can attack you once like this. Then get it again and move it over one. It's gonna move over one as well, but we're in a much better situation now. So, my enemy turn now and he's gonna move over and attack a little bit. That's a shame, but we attack right back again. And now it's our turn. So obviously, first things first, we need to do that. And the, does that mean I have this taken? I guess not yet. I don't have the sort of best situation here. But I can upgrade a card as well. Let's upgrade one of these so it's cheaper. That would be nice. And now I should be able to deploy units here. The redeployment zone is all ours, yes! Now we can place units much closer to those goblins. That's great, so I can actually move you over as well into this zone, and I think that's how we'll leave it for now. I definitely need to heal up my friend. And now he's moving over, and I really don't like that. I'm guessing he's right outside the attack range again. He has a really big knack for doing that. Let's spawn in a Spatunia. This is a bit of a risk, but I think it may be worth it. Ah, oh, but no, it's not! I'm such a dingus! Oh, come on! All right, um, how do I wanna do this then? I think that I want to go back. Oh, man, I really messed it up, didn't I? Let's regrow somebody like you and then play you 
over this way. Okay, here we go. We can make this work. If I have you move back once, and that gives us plus one attack for some reason. Now I can get you. It's not gonna be poison, but hey, it's something. There we go, and that's all I can do for this turn. So now we have like this nice little protection going on, which seems silly, but it's gonna work out in our favor, I believe. So what do we wanna do with all of this? One thing, upgrade a card or unit. I'm gonna upgrade a unit this time. It's gonna be this guy. Um, and then thorns, unit gains one strength and payback. Um, I guess I guess I'll give you plus one attack. It seems like the most sensible thing to do. I'm just trying to keep him protected. Oh, how do I want to do this? Hold on, let's go back for now. Because you can't reach that. But if I had you move like this, then you could. So I could do this, attack like that, and both of these are the same, but if I do this and attack, it's gonna knock you back one, or not. I don't know why that didn't knock you back. I was just trying to get you away from my main unit. That's my main goal right now, is just to spawn in as many people as we can to keep that protected. Because if he gets taken out, remember, it's game over. I could, I might have to move him back here though. Oh my. All right, player turn. Can I see their attack range? Not really, that's sort of a shame. I mean, you can see that's two spaces, so it's probably like here. So just like this guy. No, that guy's three. Hmm. One, two, three, I see that now. It's a little awkward. Um, I'm going to move you back, just like that. It might seem silly, but just move you there instead. And then I can attack you. Might as well take that opportunity. And then if we move you like this, and then give you slow attacks, it's not gonna do much. You're gonna get taken out here either way but I think it's worth doing. There we go. And I can't even use that card. We're fine. This is very intense so far. Yeah, and that guy gets taken out, which means this guy can move over. Oh, that's a problem, all right. Oh, man. Oh, but he doesn't. Okay, good for us, good for us. Lots to do here. Not much of it was what I was hoping for. I think that we really should take the opportunity to move this guy over, though. Um. It's really, really not much. Ah, I really wish you were in a better situation. Um, never mind. We're just gonna have you move back one more time. I'm just trying to keep that guy safe, because remember, if he gets taken out, game over, gotta try again, and I really don't wanna do that. Not the best of these kind of strategy games, but I'm doing what I can. Okay. So, player turn. How do I want to do this now? Oh, you know what? This would be perfect, actually. Let's regrow you, and I have to, you know, obviously pay energy to place him back over here, but that's definitely more productive than, but I can't, I'm such a dingus. Oh, but I can, that doesn't work either. Oh boy. Okay, so, but that doesn't move him diagonally, and then I won't have enough energy to spawn him in. How did I get myself into this pickle? <laughs> oh no. Oh man, okay, move you back. This is so frustrating, because I'm trying to make this work, and it just will not work for me. Am I really going to have to just, ah, uh, that is the worst. That was a waste, didn't think that through. Okay, they're, they just, they don't go over here though, they just sort of shuffle around. Okay, all of our cards getting shuffled again. I have to play this card, now is a good time to do this and then just move you over. Man, I can't believe how that worked out. <laughs> okay, well, let's keep at it for now. I would love to use this guy where I would like to use him, but I guess for right now we'll do that. And then we'll move him over as well. And we're just trying to inch these guys out for the time being. Because I've used all my heals for my main guy. I'm pretty sure. So if I could move you over like that and get you up like that. Okay, so we're getting closer to what we need here. Okay, so once again, they just opt to not move if you're not on the redeployment zone. For whatever reason, I'm not complaining. So if we do this, move you here. Um. Well, this is free. Upgrade a unit, upgrade this unit. It cannot be upgraded any more than it has. Um, did that work? 
I don't think that worked. Um, <laughs> weird, but okay. And then I guess I'll play this just to get it out of here for later. I think that might be a nice way to play it safe. Okay, so you're gonna move over and you won't attack this turn, thank goodness. So first off, can you hit them? I would hope that you could, and you can. I'm going to make my choice onto you. It only does one HP, but then, oh, but then I can hit you again. Thank you. So now I'm going to spawn in one of these guys and have them attack. Seems good to me. Just like this, boom, do two damage. Thank you very much. Let's do a little bit of this. We are going to have you move in. Wait, okay, yeah. You move here and then attack this person. There we go. Oh, we're about to win. That's what I'm talking about. And I guess I got another one of these for spawning in, I think this guy or something like that. So, oh man. Now I can also move you over a little bit. We turned it around. So with that done, I mean, they're obviously still attacking trying to be jerks here. We can make this work though. Um, I don't think this lines up or maybe it does. I don't know. Come on now. No, it doesn't. Okay. That should be fine. If we wanted to, we could just move you over like this and then you should. Yep. Boom. We win. Awesome. That was so tough. Do we have five units out? Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, so for that we win Vera, who is a commander, so we get a new commander. Defense Aura, Tree Folk Rock is a three energy special card. Unit gains defense, Aura destroy. Huh, fancy. Wow, give us that flag back, it's ours. Listen to me, you've got to stop taking that poor lady's food. But it tastes so good. It doesn't matter, it's not yours. But how else are we supposed to get magic ground food? <sighs> Here, what's this, bunch of little boogers? They're seeds, vegetables aren't magic ground food, they're just plants. Put some here and you can grow your own food. What, really, that's it? Don't forget to water them, fool. I'm going to take half of this huge stash of veggies you stole. You can keep the other half. I should tide you over till you grow your own, but in return you have to leave that lady alone, okay? That's a good deal too, because if I had my way, I would have incinerated you with my laser eyes. <laughs> Maybe you're not such losers after all. Okay, it's a deal. But don't, uh, don't, don't, but don't ever show your stinky faces around the fun zone again. All right, deal. Come on, Phoebe, let's get our cash money. Okay, well, that was an interesting experience and episode completed. So I'm pretty sure that is the end of the demo. Lots of fun with that, for sure. So yeah, that was a look at Floppy Nights. Very fun strategy game where we get to spawn in all of these different plant friends. I liked it a lot. Definitely let me know if you'd like to see more of this when the game comes out. Maybe we could do a full series. But for right now, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Arcade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.